students now we will continue with the consignment accounts we in detail discussed in the last video regarding consignment theory let us start working out the problems in consignment accounts so we have dealt with uh, different type of losses we will continue with that we will work out a few problems on losses how to find out the value of stock on those losses so losses can be classified into normal and abnormal before explain once again i wish that those who have not subscribed for this channel kindly subscribe and share among your friends thank you so we will start with the loss normal abnormal what is normal what is abnormal normal means which cannot be avoided that means it is in the process which cannot be avoided is called as normal loss let me get you an example say when you are putting petrol into your vehicle right you will think that you will put 1 liter of petrol but nev definitely you will not get 1 liter you will get less than 1 liter because when they are putting the petrol the petrol gets evaporated in the air you think that 1000 gram no you will get less than that the difference is called as what do you mean by normal loss which cannot be avoided which cannot be avoided which is called as what i call normal loss right then what is abnormal loss where which can be avoided you take the example of fire accident or what actually transit accident whatever it is there, that can be avoided theft that can be pilferage that can be avoided that means it happens intentionally that can be avoided then such loss happens that is not called as normal loss which is called as what i call abnormal loss so we will work out now problems both on find how to find out the value of the stock both for normal and abnormal right so let us take the few problems here problem number 1 ram consigned 100 kg of apples to lakshman the cost being rupees 60 per kg ram incurred freight charges of rupees 8000 the loss of 20% is unavoidable what is unavoidable unavoidable is called as normal loss that can that may not be what actually avoided that is normal loss calculate the cost per kg of apple now what is the cost of apple per kg after the normal loss after the normal loss that is how we have to calculate but we are supposed to take only non recurring expenses plus cost or cost will be calculated the product plus the non recurring expenses only will take will not take non that is non recurring expenses why recurring expenses it keeps on what actually changing we take only non recurring expenses so how we will calculate say here i am going to show you problem number 1 normal loss calculation of cost per kg of apple cost of 100 kg apple that is 100 into 60 it comes to 6000 add expenses incurred by the consignor that is called as what do you mean by it is non recurring 8000 now as per this it is for 100 apples it is 14000 14000 rupees but you have 20% unavoidable loss right then what happens unavoidable loss is 20% that means normal loss the total number of kgs is 100 minus 20% normal loss take out that 20% of 100 you know that how to calculate 20% of 100 100 into 20 divided by 100 it is 20 so take out 20 remaining is how much actually 80 so now we have only 80 apples now this 80 apples what is the cost now the total cost is 14000 now the apple per apple is divided by 80 it comes to 175 rupees earlier 14000 divided by 14000 divided by 100 means it was 140 but now 14000 divided by 80 is 175 so this is how you have to work out that means cost per apple after considering the normal loss now second problem calculate the value of abnormal loss first one is normal second one is abnormal 
नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स कंजेंट हंड्रेड यूनिट्स कास्ट पर यूनिट इज सेवेंटी फाइव रुपीज नॉन रिकरिंग एक्सपेंसिव अप टू द लास्ट दैट मीन्स द लास्ट इनकस टू दैट स्टेज इट इज सेवन हंड्रेड रुपीज नंबर ऑफ अब नॉर्मल लास्ट इन ट्रांजिट वॉट इज ट्रांजिट दैट मीन्स यू आर सेंडिंग द गुड्स फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर प्लेस वेन इट इज ट्रांसफरिंग इट इज ऑन द वे विच इज कॉल्ड एज वाइट ले ट्रांजिट फाइव यूनिट्स राइट देन यू हैव टू फाइंड फाइंड आउट द अब नॉर्मल लॉस सो यूनिट्स कंजेंट हंड्रेड कास्ट इज सेवेंटी फाइव सो हंड्रेड इंटू सेवेंटी फाइव कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ अब नॉर्मल लॉस कास्ट ऑफ हंड्रेड यूनिट्स हंड्रेड इंटू सेवेंटी फाइव सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एड नॉन रिकरिंग एक्सपेंसिस हाउ मच सेवन हंड्रेड सो टोटल कास्ट ऑफ गुड्स इज हाउ मच एक्ले एट थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड वेन इट वॉज वेट एक्ले पुट इन टू ट्रांजिट सो कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वैल्यू दैट ईज एट थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड देन हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव हाउ इज इट वेरी सिंपल हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स दैट यू हाव लास्ट यू हाव लास्ट फाइव यूनिट्स फॉर हंड्रेड यूनिट्स यूर कास्ट इज हाउ मच एक्ले एट For five units, it is how much? I can write here like this so that you will understand. For hundred, it is eight thousand two hundred. You have lost how much? Actually, five. For five, it is how much? So eight thousand two hundred divided hundred into five, it comes to how much? Actually, four hundred and ten. Value of abnormal loss. This is one way of working. You have another method that is alternative method also there. That alternative method is cost of abnormal loss units. How many units have lost? Five units have lost. What is the cost? That is seventy five. So five into seventy five is three seventy five. And proportionate what actually non recurring expenses for hundred units you have paid how much? Actually seven hundred. That means for five units what is the expenditure? So seven hundred divided by hundred into five. Or you can say here, for hundred units it is seven hundred rupees. For five units it is how much? So that then it comes to what? Like seven hundred into five divided by hundred. Then it comes to how much? Like thirty five. So if you add thirty five, seven three seventy five plus thirty five, it comes to four ten four four hundred and ten. Here also in the first method it is how much? Like four hundred and ten. They have asked what in the problem. You try to understand. Calculate the value of abnormal loss. So the value of abnormal is in the first method four ten. In the second method is also four ten. You can work out in any one method, either this method or the other method. Now the third problem. Suresh of Bangalore consigned two thousand bags of rice to Rajesh of Mysore, costing rupees four hundred each. So two thousand bags, then four hundred each. Suresh incurred expenses of rupees four thousand. That means non-recurring expenses because Suresh is a consignor. Rajesh incurred go down rent. You say that go down rent is a recurring expense. Selling expenses is a recurring expenses. That means we are not going to take that one for the calculation. Two hundred bags were lost in transit. You have lost how many bags? Two hundred. Then calculate the value of abnormal loss. So you are. I told you in the beginning only. Today we are going to deal with normal and abnormal loss value. So calculate the value of abnormal loss. So very simple. Calculation of abnormal loss value. Goods sent on consignment two hundred thirty two thousand into four hundred rupees. It comes to eight lakh. Add non recurring expenses four thousand. Total it comes how much? Actually eight lakh four thousand. For two thousand bags it is eight lakh four thousand. You have lost how many bags? Two hundred bags. For two hundred bags it is how much? So eight lakh four thousand divided by two thousand into two hundred it comes to how much? Actually eighty thousand four hundred. So the value of abnormal loss that is eighty thousand. Four hundred in the first method. Then we can work out on the, on the other method also. That means we calculate only for abnormal cost of abnormal loss. That is how many units that have lost? Two hundred into bare cost is four hundred. Two hundred 
टू हंड्रेड इंटू फोर हंड्रेड इट कम्स टू हम मच एटी थाउजेंड प्रपोर्शनेट एक्सपेन्सेस फॉर टू थाउजेंड इट इज फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर टू हंड्रेड इट इज हाउ मच दे एक्सपेन्सेस हम मच एक्ले फोर हंड्रेड एटी थाउजेंड प्लस फोर हंड्रेड देन इट कम्स टू हम एक्ले एटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इन द फर्स्ट मेथड इज हो मच एक्ले एटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इन द सेकेंड मेथड ऑल्सो इट इज एटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इन बोथ द मेथड्स इट इज एटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ओके नौ दि फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम निशांत ऑफ मुंबई कंजाइंड हंड्रेड बॉक्सेस बॉक्सेस टू अनंत ऑफ बैंगलोर कास्टिंग रुपीज हंड्रेड ईच कंजाइना एक्सपेन्सेस रुपीज वन थाउजेंड कंजाइनीज एक्सपेन्सेस सेलिंग फाइव हंड्रेड वन शू से सेलिंग रेंट यू जस्ट से इट इज वॉट एक्चुअली रेकरिंग एक्सपेन्सेस थ्री फिफ्थ ऑफ दि गुड्स वर सोल्ड बै कंजाइनी दट मीन वॉट एवर इट हेज बीन सेंड आउट ऑफ दैट थ्री फिफ्थ हेज बीन सोल्ड बै कंजाइनी half of the balance goods were lost in consignees go down due to fire i told you when you say fire it is not called as normal loss it is called as abnormal loss normal loss cannot be avoided better abnormal loss can be avoided fire calculate the value of abnormal loss so let us work out calculation of value of abnormal loss goods sent On consignment, I'm sorry. On consignment, hundred into hundred, it comes to how much? Actually, ten thousand. Add non-recurring expenses of consignor is one thousand. Total, it comes to how much? Actually, eleven thousand. Now, other calculations because they have given simple arithmetic. Number of boxes sold, hundred into three by five. That means you have consigned hundred boxes. Out of that, he has sold three fifth. So hundred into three fifth, and then it is very simple. Five two za, then two three za, then it comes to sixty boxes. He has sold. He has sold how many boxes? Sixty boxes. So total boxes is hundred. Number of boxes sold is how much? Actually sixty. So remaining in the go down was how much? Actually forty. He says that half has been what actually burnt in fire in the go down. Out of forty, fifty percent or half destroyed by fire. So forty into one by two or fifty percent of forty, whatever you calculate, right? It is how much? Actually twenty. That means we have lost how much? It is twenty. Then how you should do value for hundred boxes? You have incurred eleven thousand. For hundred boxes, you have eleven incurred eleven thousand. For twenty boxes, it is how much? So value is how much? Actually, two thousand two hundred, two thousand two hundred. Whereas you can work out on the other way also, alternative method. Cost of that is abnormal twenty wax into hundred is how much? Actually, two thousand. Add proportionate expenses. For hundred you have given one thousand rupees. For twenty it is how much? It is two hundred. Then it comes how much? Actually, two thousand two hundred. So in the first method also two thousand two hundred, in the second method also two thousand two hundred. So this is how we have to work out normal abnormal loss value in the examination. It may be given for two marks or it may be given for six marks. Right? Once again, I request those who have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and share among your friends, and we will meet in the. next video continuation of consignment accounts